Yeah, th this person is hijacking your read. I'm sorry, Capricorn, but they are. They want to work with you, okay? Capricorn, do you see this? Look how closely they're watching you. I don't think you realize how closely this person is watching. This is a time period where spirit really wants you to focus on resting, okay? Recharging, refining your balance, okay? This man is sitting literally on top of the world. Like, that's where you're headed. If you keep up your healing, you focus on yourself, your happiness, you don't get distracted, you are going to be in a very good place in this lifetime and in the next. This person, God help us in heaven, this person, Capricorn, whoever this person is, they are very possessive of you, very jealous of you, okay? I just have to say it. Good Lord in heaven, this person, how is this person not at your side? you know where are they who are they with are they with a karma this person was hijacking capricorn's read their energy was strong in the capricorn read the general read for the collective capricorn what's going on this individual this is this clown this is a clown for real okay i'm just gonna say let me let me go back to being professional, but I'm just going to say, this is a clown for real, okay? This this person, they have no issue. They're not, they're not scared to talk to anyone. They can go to anybody and start a conversation with them. But when it comes to you, Capricorn, they go running like the plague. What is this all about? Well, it's because they have a lot of deep feelings for you. They actually, for some of you, this person actually loves you. Uh, you know, if somebody's taking me out on a date, it would be like, finally, somebody's taking me out of the cave. You know, the cave that I've been sitting in all these months, especially with winter. Like, it's literally like a, a cave. You've been, you know, a bear in hibernation. Finally, somebody's taking me out to, to see something out here. I, I want you guys to understand, Capricorn. This person, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. I'm just letting you know. They're here to stay. Some way, somehow. Whether it's a friend, whether it's friend with benefits, or getting into an actual relationship. But they are going to make some sort of move here. You Because, you know that song by Katy Perry? I don't know the name, but it's like, In another life, I would be your girl. The one that got away. That sort of energy. They feel like you're going to be the one that got away if they don't do something hello my beautiful capricorns how are you welcome back to the channel starcy zayad here if you're new make sure to subscribe and join the soul tribe we have a read for you guys okay this is your may 2022 predictions read it is a general read so take what resonates leave what doesn't behind cross watchers you are welcome this message is also timeless personal reads are in the link tree link in the description box below and with all that out of the way we're gonna get started Thank you so much, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, universe, galactic beings, ancient ancestors, elders. Guide us in this read for Capricorn. What messages do you have for us? Truly grateful for your divine guidance and celestial lights. So depending on the message, I may do an extended for this read. I'm feeling like one of these signs that I'm doing is either going to be you or cancer. Somebody's getting an extended. Um, so that will be in the link in the description box if you are interested. So we have Pisces, we have, uh, no, that's not Venus, that's Mars, excuse me. And then we have the number three. So I do see for this overall group of Capricorns, you guys are definitely representing the divine feminine. Okay, you're in your feminine energy, right? Doesn't matter if you're a man, okay? Whoever you are, he, she, they, them, it, wherever you come from, you're appearing here strong as the Empress, okay? You're appearing in your divine feminine energy. And this is a time period of you where you're going to attract a lot of abundance, okay? But I also see here, because Mars is here, this is the ruling planet of the Emperor. And with Pisces in the middle, it's almost an energy of like a lot of telepathic communication between you and a specific person okay so you know your situation better than me right 
And everybody's situation is different. Not everybody is dealing with a twin flame or a high level soulmate or a karmic partner, right? However, it seems to me that whoever you were dealing with in regards to romance or you, you are currently dealing with is trying to communicate with you through telepathy. So let's see here what the Oracle has for you. Okay, we have dice. We have self-image. Here, let's just pull out six. Um, I think that should be good. Oh, yeah, you see. You see, somebody's washing you, Capricorn. Capricorn, do you see this? Look how closely they're washing you. I don't think you realize how closely this person is watching and keeping an eye on everything that you do. So we are definitely... Oh, yeah. Yeah, they can't let go of you. Look at this. They're trying to do magic here to bring you in. Somebody's trying to do magic here to bring you in, okay? This person that's very much into you. Yeah, they're trying to manifest you, okay? Using ritual magic here. Moon magic as well. Here you have self-image. They've never seen anyone as beautiful as you, okay? As beautiful or as handsome as you. They've They've never seen it. dice time to take risks getting out of your comfort zone leap into the unknown adventure awaits interesting then we have here the devil addiction problem excess obsession dependency materialism bad financial habits shadow self good lord this person this person god help us in heaven this person capricorn whoever this person is they are very possessive of you, very jealous of you, okay? I just have to say it. Good Lord in heaven. This person, how is this person not at your side? You know, where are they? Who are they with? Are they with a karmic? This person is obsessed. Obsessed. You have the devil, manifestation, self-image here. The owl. You have creative as well. So they see you as very creative bridge another phase of life transition need to find common ground bridge the gap this person this is all about a person here capricorn let me pull out one card forms a painful sacrifice so you guys are having to let go of this because you're not seeing change okay and this is what i'm saying here capricorn you're having to let go of someone because you're not seeing change you're not seeing the situation improving you're not seeing movement forward okay you're having to remove yourself okay for a lot of you this is somebody that's romantically interested in you but you would never know it because they do not express themselves they don't tell you how they really feel towards you but it's like you can read through them and you know that they're super into you so it's like what gives why is this person doing this well with the devil there and bridge it's telling me that this person still has a lot of stuff that they have to work on and you have thorns here with the risk, the dice card, excuse me, a very painful sacrifice. You have to remove yourself for your own sanity. Okay, you have to walk away. And that's what I'm saying here. Like you have to just go and do your own thing for now because it feels to me like this person, it's like they can't get their act together. They just can't get it together. What do we have here? Nine of Cups. Oh, yeah. You see, you have wish fulfillment. Oh, I want to be a Capricorn. I want to be a Capricorn the month of May. All eyes are going to be on you. Look at this. You have the Nine of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and the Star card. Aquarius energy. So you could have Aquarius throughout your chart. Uranus energy. Okay, very rebellious energy. You're living large, okay? You're no longer holding on to the old aspects of yourself you're no longer holding back that's what i'm seeing here the month of may it's like you're going to pursue you okay you see this woman right she's naked out in the forest in the middle of the night i always say this whenever the star card appears right and this is a very rebellious energy a lot of people would think that she's crazy right because you know she's outside naked in the middle of the night right but you see this is all about healing and 
changing our view on how we perceive things on this planet. And so the star card, you know, and especially because the star is ruled by Uranus, it's an energy of F you, I'm going to do what I truly feel in my heart, what I truly feel called to do, what I truly feel is healing and nurturing to my soul, what I truly feel is for my highest good, okay, with that nine of cups. And because you are getting into this energy, Capricorn, you're bringing in wish fulfillment. For a lot of you Capricorns, right? Because remember, your card in tarot is the devil. So the devil, a good, right, good, I use that loosely, but a good aspect of the devil card is money, having a lot of money, having a lot of financial and material success, wealth, and abundance. So this is what's headed your way. The steps that you're taking in May are going to bring you to this, where you're going to have a lot. You're going to feel on top of the world. Literally, you see this imagery, Capricorn, this man, you see this is a skyline behind him, and he's sitting on a throne here, and he has these four pentacles. This man is sitting, literally, on top of the world. Like, that's where you're headed. If you keep up your healing, you focus on yourself, your happiness, you don't get distracted, you are going to be in a very good place in this lifetime and in the next Okay, you're hot, highly, excuse me, sought after. You're very attractive, very beautiful, very handsome, and a lot of people are looking at you. They just can't resist. You see, the King of Pentacles was underneath here before I shuffled the deck. Now we're getting the Queen of Pentacles. So yeah, you have a person here. They want union with you, but they're not maturing is what I'm saying here. Yeah, strength could be dealing with a leo or you have leo across your chart four of swords so it's definitely right now in the earlier stages of may right especially as we get to this oh my right ear just started ringing especially as we get to this first quarter moon and leo right this is a time period where spirit really wants you to focus on resting okay recharging refining your balance okay just really giving yourself that time and energy to heal rest be comfortable right what do we have here the fool and the moon the knight of pentacles this person is hijacking your read capricorn it's like there's so much good coming in and i love talking about the stuff that you have coming in and the work that you're doing the healing that you're doing right i just love because normally it's like love read or the drama surrounding you but this read for you capricorn specifically is more so so far it has been more so about your healing focusing on your abundance your financial wealth as well your material wealth how healing yourself elevates your i guess you could say your financial status how it manifests more positivity and more beauty in your life but it's like then you have this person a blast from the past this is a past person for a lot of you it's a past person or past life could be a past life then going on here but regardless, this person wants to have a, a take a leap of faith, but it's like their energy, you see, and there you go, there's the emperor, you see, and you literally have the ace of cups, yeah, they're going to come in and talk to you, it's going to be slow, but they're going to take this leap of faith, the fool card there, but the knight of pentacles, remember, the fool, but the knight of pentacles, that's like a contradicting energy, because the knight of pentacles does not take risks, okay, yeah, I feel like Jesus falling over there and rolling. It's like, that's literally how Jesus feels about this person. You know, that's Jesus right there. I don't know if you see him. His hand is chipped. But yeah, when he rolled over, literally, that's how he feels when it comes to this masculine. Okay, like, good Lord in heaven, we're still doing this? Ah. Uh. 
a blast from the past. You see, it's a very contradicting energy, as I was saying. Because the Knight of Pentacles is not someone that takes risks, right? The Knight of Pentacles is slow and steady. He has a specific goal in mind, and he's going to take his time for it. But then you have the Fool here. You see this Fool, right? You see the Fool card? This is card number zero. So it's like this person wants a brand new beginning with you. But also, they want to take that leap. Like, you see the Fool is literally standing at the edge of this cliff. And this is your divine counterpart because we have the Emperor here. With the Ace of Cups, they want to come in and offer you the Cup of Love. But this person has some issues. Okay, I really want to focus on you. I may do an extended to see what's going to happen with you and this person. Because if I'm being honest, Capricorn, it's like this person's all over the place. Like, if you are dealing with someone and you are resonating with this aspect of the read, where it's like you're dealing with this person and you feel like they're all over the place and you never know where you stand, then I would recommend the extended. I'm probably going to focus more so on this person in the extended and their future actions towards you. But I really feel like May is about yourself. It's a month of self and not in a selfish way, just in a selfless way. Doing the healing, doing the work that you've been doing. So let's see here what else. Three of Pentacles. The Strength card. This Strength card came out twice. So Spirit definitely wants us to focus in on this. What is the significance of this Strength card? Leo energy. What is the significance? Mm. There's a King of Pentacles. So yeah, you have a pair here. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Yeah, th this person is hijacking your read. I'm sorry, Capricorn, but they are. They want to work with you, okay? But you see, you're done. You're walking away or you've been walked away from this person, from this situation. Like, you're not looking back at this. Yeah, King of Swords, like, you're cold towards this. You don't want to hear it from this person. But the Eight of Wands and the Devil, they want to come in, tempting you, making an offer. Let's see here. What else does Capricorn need to hear? What 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 is the big thing happening in May? What's the big thing here? Look, the star card. There's the star card again. There's that star card. The star card twice. Beautiful energy. The main thing happening for you, Capricorn, is healing. Focusing on you. Prioritizing you. Self-care. Self-love. Enjoying yourself, okay? Shopping for yourself getting a massage okay doing things for your pleasure it's all about you and it's not in a yeah you see ton of cups i was saying at capricorn the more healing you do the more beautiful your life will play out and pan out for you and it's like you're in this energy where you're doing so well for yourself i just feel like this person wants to come in it's like you you've done so much work to get to this point and now it's like a blast from the past here they come and it's almost an energy of like no 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 stay back <laughs> like stay where you're at you wanted to you know you made your choice you gotta stay where you're at now you you can't you know there's levels to this right that's the energy i'm getting from you guys when it comes to this person it's an energy of like no you you know you made your choice you wanted to stay in this low vibrational energy you you gotta stay there you gotta stay where you're at you know I, aka Capricorn, I'm spiritually evolving. I'm doing my healing. I'm doing my work. I'm moving so far along this journey of self, of self reflection, only for this person to come in and try to, you know, this would be an energy of like you going backwards, if I'm being honest. But you see, they're chasing after you. Yeah, I'm going to have to do an extended. I'm going to have to do an extended page of swords. Keep studying. Keep researching, okay? Some of you may enroll in a course. Some of you may be doing a spring semester at university or community college or college in general. Okay, you may be starting a spring semester or you already started a spring semester or you may be signing up for summer classes, okay? Regardless, I see you guys taking a course here and this is going to bring in uh, a new 
stream of revenue for you okay that will lead to uh happiness you know you may don't panic if like money you know the, the, don't panic like there may be a, it may be a little slow the first two to three weeks of may when it comes to money okay you might not see a lot of money coming in or moving forward but just be patient it's all coming trust me oh what do we have here it literally landed on its side so nine of cups on its side yeah you're like you're not too sure i'm, I'm gonna do an extended on this what's the other card on this person what's the other card four of pentacles yeah you're not too sure if you should take a leap of faith and put your heart on the line with this person so i'm gonna do an extended for those capricorns that are interested in the love aspect of this read i'm gonna do it an, ex an extended excuse me it's gonna be in the description box check the gum road link okay just remember if you're a mobile user you may have to download the app to view the extended read right if you're on desktop you can just view it there and you only have to buy it once some people were buying it multiple times and you know maybe maybe some people were trying to donate but you only have to buy it once and then it's available for you you have to click watch a video watch now it will be like in the corner it's a small box but it will say watch now so yeah that's what i have to say i'm gonna do an extended see the love aspect of the situation that is a read capricorn okay this month is about your healing so that's what i have for you i hope you enjoyed this i wish you the best of luck and i wish you